the highly problematic WWE Titan, Vince McMahon, is back in the news. And as you can expect, for no good reason. But this time, his wife Linda McMahon might have something to do with it. The chairman of WWE pulled wrestling from its humble origins and brought it into the mainstream. I mean, as mainstream as a group of big-muscled, aggressive guys can possibly become. McMahon changed the sports entertainment industry both in front of and behind the camera. A millionaire with his Mr. McMahon Riz unmatched in wrestling history. Plus, being the oldest WWE champion in history, the man even holds a Guinness World Record. But none of that could save him from himself. I am no pervert. Before voluntarily resigning, Vince McMahon oversaw World Wrestling Entertainment for many years as its CEO and chairman of the board. He announced in June 2022 that he was leaving his position while the organization looked into allegations of misbehavior against him. The 77-year-old first resigned in 2022 after it was discovered during an inquiry that he had paid four women a total of over $12 million over a 16-year period to hide allegations of infidelity and sexual misconduct. But then, a few months later, he rejoined the board of the company. Now, after two years, he has been outed in another major scandal, as a former WWE employee filed a lawsuit in January 2024, accusing him of sexual assault, trafficking, and abuse. Those are serious allegations, folks, and it's not the first time he's being accused, which makes you think why WWE kept him around all this time. Damn it, bark like a dog! <laughs> His legacy's gone down the drain, one that he worked so hard to build, too. But wait, we can't talk about Vinnie Mac and not mention the woman who worked just as hard behind the scenes, and might just be the one who exposed his dark side. You see, before Vince thought of creating his own empire, Linda McMahon had little interest in the world of professional wrestling. She did, however, possess a brilliant mind for business, marketing, and promotion, and more recently, charitable endeavors. Linda was busy ensuring the company was a sound business venture, while Vince developed the wrestling part of the business by elevating the then WWF to become one of the most thrilling things to grace our television screens. She appeared in McMahon Family Stories, but quit in 2009 to focus on her political career. Yes, as Trump's aide. Without her efforts, WWE wouldn't nearly be as big as it has become. But now, for the last decade or two, she's not been affiliated to the company. Is there a reason for that? Guess so. After what we saw Vince getting up to on camera, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the things that happened behind closed doors were far worse. Mr. Mac Daddy. <laughs> The couple remained together for more than 50 years in spite of it, but it seems like she's had enough now. In his defense, Vince told his wife about his infidelity, and the two of them gave the impression that those times were long gone. If that's true, Linda McMahon's got the tolerance and forgiveness of a saint. Or has she finally had enough? In the wake of all these scandals, the relationship between Vince McMahon and the ladies he intimately collaborated with on TV has been the most talked about subject. Plus, fans are also wondering what's up with his marriage. Is it over? Did Linda turn him in? You might also remember the unsettling storyline she was a part of, in which Vince made out with WWE divas in front of her while she was confined to a wheelchair and in a vegetative state. I can't believe it. Even though that was just a storyline, the actual relationship between the two started to show cracks. In fact, Wrestling Observer Radio reported that Vince and Linda are no longer together and that they now live apart. But since there is no news of their divorce, the marriage appears to be intact. For now. Online rumors of their separation reappeared after Vince McMahon accidentally called Linda his wife at the time on The Pat McAfee Show before quickly correcting himself. Mrs. McMahon left WWE to pursue politics after years of devoted service to the organization, and from 2017 to 2019, she was working with Donald Trump. But even then, Linda is entitled to $37 million as the owner of 1% of WWE stock. Linda McMahon never responded to her husband's allegations or affairs, but something tells us she's had enough. In the early 2000s, Vince McMahon referred to himself as the genetic jackhammer. If you want another baby, I'm your genetic jackhammer. He has often been connected to having affairs with a number of WWE divas, including Candice Michelle, Sable, Tori, and Trish Stratus. 
In fact, McMahon admitted to cheating on his wife in an interview that appeared in the Playboy magazine in 2001. He claimed that he kept his extramarital affairs under wraps and that he always gave Linda attention, both emotionally and physically. Like, that's supposed to make it okay? Then he went on to say that Linda was crushed to learn of his adultery. Go figure. No remorse, just casually chatting about his extramarital affairs with Playboy. Anyway, in the most recent lawsuit, nauseating details about his abuse have come forward in the court documents submitted to the U.S. District Court in Connecticut. Allegedly, McMahon first coerced Janelle Grant into a relationship with the promise of career opportunities after meeting her in March 2019. According to the lawsuit, he intimidated her with threats of revenge porn and depraved sexual demands in exchange for her job, and he later ordered her to have sex with WWE superstars and other men. Grant, who was employed by WWE from June 2019 to March 2022, claims that she was forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement and that she was fired as soon as Linda McMahon found out about it. And that's why people think Linda's had enough of Vince, and that she might have played a role in exposing him. Now, TKO Group Holdings, the parent company of WWE, issued a statement that Mr. McMahon does not control TKO, nor does he oversee the day-to-day -day operations of WWE. But it was created in 2023, after the merging of WWE and the Ultimate Fighting Championship in 2023. And McMahon served as the executive chairman of the organization. As part of their investigation, federal officials acquired acquired a search warrant for the wrestling boss's phone in July 2023. While Vince hasn't been charged yet, Grant is requesting that the 2022 non-disclosure agreement, which prohibits her from talking about or criticizing McMahon, be thrown out by the court. She also wants an undefined amount of damages paid to her. This comes at a time when Netflix revealed its 10-year, $5 billion agreement with WWE to have the exclusive right to stream their live events. Oh, and The Rock is set to join the board of TKO, too. The massive wrestling company was taken over by Stephanie McMahon, but she resigned after her dad took over. Now with Nick Khan at the top, it seems like the McMahons are gone for good. And let's not forget that they incurred $17.7 million in expenses related to the investigation in just the third quarter of 2022. Mind you, the first female referee in WWE history, Rita Chatterton, also came forward to accuse McMahon of assaulting her in his limousine. Leonard Nzitari, a former wrestler, reportedly confirmed her allegation, claiming to have seen Chatterton after the alleged incident. She claims that after receiving her first job as a referee in 1975, McMahon offered her a $500,000 annual deal to referee on screen, and even though the assault happened sometime in the 80s, she didn't speak about it until the 90s. McMahon ended up suing her, claiming his enemies were trying to take him down by making false allegations. The lawsuit was then dropped mysteriously. But this time, Grant's allegation calls into question the WWE culture, as she alleges that the company deliberately hid McMahon's misconduct. She claimed that, despite her desire to cooperate, the special committee tasked with looking into McMahon never spoke with her or asked for any evidence. It was no secret that McMahon posed a risk to the corporation. In fact, he had to quit before due to similar charges. And yes, in 2022, the WWE designated an impartial committee to look into McMahon man's supposed wrongdoings when he was the company's chairman and CEO. According to them, McMahon has now reimbursed the company for around $20 million in misused company funds, as well as the legal bills TKO and WWE incurred while looking into McMahon. Not good enough. Well, at least now with a hefty legal battle ahead, it seems unlikely he'll be back at WWE. Guess it's for the best. And for all we know, we've got Linda to thank for exposing his secret life. Let us know in the comments below what you make of McMahon's latest scandal, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.